name is Jake and I have been living in my car for nine months. So yeah, this is uh, this is my home. Welcome to my home. Uh, I live in Dallas, Texas. Uh, this video is specifically for Dallas, Texas. I previously made a video kind of like this, but I was living in South Florida and I kind of just gave a really short rundown, rundown on what it's like living in, in your car. I'm sure there's a card here or here if you want to check that, that video out. The first like six months of living in my car, I was living in South Florida. I just recently uh, moved back here to my hometown in Texas um, a couple of months ago. Yeah, so in this video, I'm pretty much going to cover uh, what kind of car I drive, what my trunk looks like, bunch of clothes and all that type of stuff where I where I sleep uh, do I use a gym or do I take showers or do I poop do I get ready in the morning do I get naked in my car where do I do my laundry where do I where's my bathroom do I have a freaking trash sack in my anyways I'm gonna be covering all of that in this video so let's get into it so this is my whip it's a 2010 Acura TSX <laughs> I've actually noticed more and more people lately have been trying to do the like hashtag van life, uh, hashtag car life if you will. Um, obviously I don't drive a van and or, or a truck for, for that matter, but I do drive a sedan so it is a four door. Um, it, it actually does have a lot of, a lot of space. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and show y'all how I get ready to go to sleep. So anyways, this chair right here, um, the, the back goes all the way down like this. All right, don't make fun of all the rips. This car has been through so, so much, but see, I'm pretty much lays down almost, almost flat. And what I do, um, it's been super cold out lately here in Dallas, Texas, uh, down to the 30s or 40s and when it's the 30s or 40s um, you can see I have two blankets here and then here here let me move these right here um, I keep a uh, some of my jackets and uh, my sleeping bag is is right here so this is my sleeping bag I pretty much uh, sprawl out and I dig myself into the sleeping bag and get into it like that um, I've got actually a lot of a lot of leg room. Once I'm inside of that, I use one of these blankets right here as my pillow. So just just like this, so it looks like it looks like that. I use that as the, and then I put this blanket right here over the sleeping bag like that. And that, uh, that keeps me warm. Everything fits behind the passenger seat right here, blankets, uh, sleeping bag. But pretty much this is what it looks like um, at night. Make sure to lock your doors. Um, and then I just go to sleep like this. I have uh, plenty of uh, leg room. As you can see, I can wiggle around. So moving on, I get this question a lot. Where do I sleep? in my car, like what spots? Um, if you're not from Dallas, Texas and you're watching this, casinos are really good. Um, so are hospitals, um, so are gyms that stay open for 24 hour. And uh, my most suggested spot is Walmart. And so I've got this screen recording up right now. This is obviously Texas. We're gonna zoom in on Dallas right here. This is central Dallas about right here. Um, do not try and stay in your car right here. There's a lot of negative bad things that kind of happen over here. Not all the time, but more than likely you're gonna get stopped by either a homeless person, maybe someone that wants to hurt you, hopefully not, or an officer that's just gonna tell you, yo, it's not very safe over here. Um, try and find somewhere um, else to sleep in your car. I, I had to learn this the hard way, and so what I suggest is staying uh, within a 15 mile radius of central Dallas if you live in Dallas, like I'm right here, I don't even suggest staying like right here where, where I am. I suggest going out farther. Um, like I said, anywhere within a 15 mile radius, if you can find a Walmart or any of, of the other things that I stated, um, then, then you're good. I mostly stay at Walmarts and I've never had any issues. My whole entire nine months of living in my car, um, I've only had two problems and it was just two homeless people that knocked on my window when I was sleeping, scared the crap out of me. 
and uh, but we made peace and he went away and that was, that was literally it. I've never even had, had an, an encounter with a police officer. But um, a couple of times when I, when I first moved back here uh, to, to Dallas, by the way, if you want to check out my story about going moving back and forth from Dallas to Florida, my drug addictions, my mental illnesses, things that I talk about like that on my vlogs, make sure to check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Please like and subscribe. So something else I want to cover real quick is um, mail. Like, how do I get mail? So when I was in South Florida, I was completely by myself, didn't have... Uh, many friends because I just worked all the time. I had no, none of my family was from Florida and so I had to get a P.O. box um, at, a, at a post office. Now that I'm back here in Texas, um, I, I would ju I just use friends addresses to get um, things sent to me. Mail, packages, stuff like that. Yes, it's the next day and yes, I got a haircut and a wardrobe change but uh, now I want to show y'all some of the miscellaneous stuff I leave in my car and then I'm gonna show y'all like the main part which is like my trunk and uh, that has my wardrobe in it like all my clothes and I'll show you all that in a second but um, some important things that I feel like y'all should know for living in your car is um, I, I leave my toothbrush right here you can buy these at a, at a Walmart these little plastic bags and you keep your toothbrush and toothpaste right here um, just so you can brush your teeth right when you wake up and then right when um, you go to sleep same with with floss I eat in my car a lot so I always keep like plastic forks like cologne hand sanitizer uh, gum uh, you know hair gel all my stuff like that, you know ibuprofen um, This is vital though right here um, If you don't have uh, in your vehicle an outlet like this this you can buy this at like Best Buy Or an electronic shop for a couple bucks like 15 bucks and it just plugs into your cigarette lighter and uh, I attach um uh, like another dual plug-in right here that has four slots so I, I can use even more um, It's also uh, I just learned this myself It's also really good if you go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money on buying a good car battery um, I've gone through like a, a lot of car batteries um, And I just had to break down and buy an actual good one because I use a lot of uh, electric, not, not electric, I use a lot of power or, or whatever. Vital, 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 water. I always have a huge pack of water here. I also get a lot of, the, the one thing that I feel like that sucks the most about living in your car is not having your own bathroom. Um, like where do I take a piss or whatever? I just use restaurants and I use Walmarts at the end of the day. Okay, now for my favorite part, my my trunk. Um, you learn to become more of a minimalist when you're living in your car, what you can throw out, what you can't. Like when I first started doing this, I had so much, I mean you can watch it in, 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 in my first uh, homeless video, um, how much crap I had to, to get rid of. But uh, we're just gonna jump in, there's a lot so just bear with me. Um, I actually just uh, did laundry. Um, I have to go to laundry mats, obviously, because I don't have a washer and dryer installed in my car, but that'd be dope. Um, so this is my dirty uh, clothes hampshire. Um, there's actually clean clothes in that right now, though. This is my bathroom bag right here. So, like, at the end of the day, when I get off work, I, I have this, um, and I get my towel, which I leave right here. And the reasoning behind leaving my towel right here is um, I, I don't leave the towel when it's wet after taking a shower um, in, in my bag because it gets soggy and it starts to smell. But speaking of showers, I, uh, I, I shower at a gym. Um, Planet Fitness is, is my gym when I was still living in South Florida. I, I, I got a membership. Um, for Planet Fitness when I moved into my car. It's like 10 or 12 bucks a month, I think, for just a regular gym membership. And uh, most of the gyms have showers in there, and so most of the time I'll pack my bag, like I'm saying in the video right now, uh, walk in, go straight to the, the shower. That's how I shower. They usually have soap in there that you can use, um, but I, I suggest just picking up like um, some shower gel and um, some some shampoo of your choice and putting it in a plastic bag um, and putting it in your bathroom bag um, and then you just using that with with their showers um, 
and yeah that's how i essentially stay clean and so here we'll get back to the video now by leaving it up here you know the sun hits it and it dries off and doesn't smell um so in so i usually have my towel in here um i grab my uh this is like my sock drawer and my underwear drawer actually this is sock socks these are um underwear um but obviously a lot of my stuff is in in there but that's usually where that goes my skateboard because i skate uh and then my uh, laundry detergent right there and these are all all of my shoes are in this uh shoe bag right here and sorry if i'm all over the place there's a lot in here um so yeah this is my uh bathroom bag right here so this has my uh deodorant um shaving cream uh, you know razors another toothbrush uh cologne uh nail clippers uh all of that stuff is is right here and then um yeah i'll grab a pair of underwear and socks throw that in there and uh gym shorts because i sleep in gym shorts i don't sleep naked in my car that'd probably be a little weird um but yeah i do I'll also do a lot of yoga so do yoga so these are all this is my shorts stack and these this is my pants stack um that's my helmet for skate parks all of my uh hats uh i have um stands for my car just in case i break down right here in the middle is where i keep all of my shirts so um what i wear a lot is just normal shirts and then i'll wear like a long sleeve uh like over you know if it's cold here in dallas you know the weather's bipolar here in texas so um i keep uh you know short sleeves on the top uh long sleeves under that sweaters under that you know all my flannels all my uh sh short sleeve um dress shirts and uh kind of just do that and it stacks up about halfway i've actually got a lot of uh shirts and um swag always save your uh, walmart sacks or grocery sacks i leave them right here because living in your car you get you have a lot of trash and just always leave your trash right here you can tell that um even though i have a bunch of crap like it's still kind of nice and, and tidy there's not trash every everywhere i'm still working on those animal crackers what i could do is tell y'all kind of what my day uh looks like real quick so like i will park my car wherever i'm sleeping for the night um and when I wake up, you know, I, I, I ravel up my sleeping bag, throw it back there, nice and neat, all my blankets, turn the car on, get warm if it's, if it's cold, turn the air conditioner if it's hot. And uh, the first thing I'll do is uh, go to my trunk and pick out what I'm going to wear for the day. I'll come back in my car and uh, I'll strip down naked and like put a new pair of briefs on because like i don't know i just i like to wear a new pair of underwear every single day i hope that you do too please like and subscribe i immediately go and get coffee because i freaking i love coffee and uh so i'll go to a starbucks or a local coffee shop and while i'm i go inside i don't ever go to the drive through because um to do my hair and stuff like that i go to the coffee shop uh, go straight to the bathroom do my hair um, brush my teeth or whatever and then grab my coffee and then i uh go to work i immediately punch in i'm a delivery driver which is not a don't live in your car and be a delivery driver at the same not very not very smart but i pretty much work all day i'm a workaholic and then at the end of the night obviously i'll go to uh, planet fitness or i'll grab something to eat uh eat um shower find my spot to go to sleep and uh yeah that pretty much covers it i always find myself at these random beautiful parks in dallas that i have no idea how i get here i just find spots that are quiet because there's freaking highways all over the place in dallas and it's never quiet enough for me to make a video i'm complaining i'll stop uh i make videos on this channel all the time uh feel free to leave uh all of my other hashtag van life people and uh car life people leave uh more helpful tips down in the comments below or if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below and or right here instagram 
and Snapchat right here. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Small goal, small goal compared to what um, I'm hopeful for in the future. So seriously, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and uh, watching me grow in life. And uh, hopefully y'all can learn a couple of things from me while I'm uh, trying to learn from myself. I don't know if that makes sense. Something motivational like that, I guess. But I, uh, I freaking love y'all. And uh, until next time.